thank you. Uh, joining me now to discuss further defense attorney, former federal prosecutor Shan Wu. Shan, always good to see you. Uh, there's so much talk now about could the governor be facing any criminal charges? I just want to play a little bit more of what Brittany Camisso had to say in terms of why she decided to file a criminal complaint. Why did you file that criminal complaint with the sheriff's office? Because it was the right thing to do. The governor needs to be held accountable. Being held accountable to you Mm -hmm. means seeing the governor charged with a crime. What he did to me was a crime. He broke the law. She's very clear there in how she feels about uh, the governor's behavior towards her, which she, which she alleges happened, that she sees it as a crime. Is my understanding this would be um, a, a class A here in the state of New York, a misdemeanor. From what we know, what are the chances that Governor Cuomo could in fact be charged criminally? Well, Erica, the facts that we do know certainly would meet uh, the elements uh, for the misdemeanor sexual assault. Usually, the misdemeanors versus the felonies are distinguished by non-genital contact, non-penetration, outside the clothing or even inside touching, as she is describing, would certainly fit that. It's important to remember many misdemeanor sexual assault convictions are actually plea bargains of felonies. Prosecutors historically reluctant to bring misdemeanor sexual assault charges on misdemeanor facts, they're afraid the juries won't think that it's a severe enough type of conduct to justify a criminal case, and that's wrong. I mean, that is from a legacy of implicit sexual bias against women in the system. Prosecutors need to bring cases uh, when they fit the charges, but that's something that's gonna be factored in. So you say that's going to be factored in. Is that going to be factored in differently because we're dealing with the governor of the state of New York? I think it will be. Uh, now, it can cut both ways. Sometimes prosecutors are particularly interested in a high-profile candidate, but they will be worried that bringing it to a jury, the jury may feel that this is a very important person, maybe very popular, and they're going to be worried it's a hard case. But prosecutors can't be afraid to try hard cases. And the only way to change this kind of historical bias is by bringing these kinds of cases. If the facts fit the crime, you have to bring the case. Uh, CNN has reached out to the governor's office, to the governor's attorneys as well, uh, after this interview aired. We have not yet heard back. Um, but we know the governor has repeatedly denied in testimony that he ever touched anyone inappropriately. He denies um, these, these events happened. As for the claim he groped her breast, part of what his defense is, is laying out is that the visitor logs for the day when they say this, this uh, allegedly, uh, you know, was said to have happened in the mansion and also email records uh, basically point to the fact that this could never happen in their estimation. Is that enough of a defense? I think it's the only defense they have. You know, whether it's enough, uh, it's going to ultimately be a, a jury case. It's not really going to be enough, in my opinion, to convince the prosecution, given the testimony of the complainant at this point, the survivor. That seems very strong. She's very certain it was not consented to. His defense team doesn't really have a choice. I mean, if it was someone other than a public official, they might say this was consensual. Uh, you know, she was not telling me no, it was consented to. But in his situation, they have to say it simply didn't happen. Deny the fact that it could have happened. People would have heard this sort of thing, which is not really believable. I mean, this is the sort of thing that She's not claiming she struggled or yelled, so it's not really believable that it didn't happen just because no one heard it. But they have to just say it didn't happen because any type of admission takes them down a path of no return. So he's got to just deny it. Shen Wu, appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you.